New developments out of Desert Vista High School, the site of that racial slur spelled out on students' shirts. The Civil Rights Office for the U.S. Department of Education being called on to step in here. ABC 15's Noe Lani Graf is live outside the school district headquarters where a big meeting went down there tonight. Nohe? Katie, this meeting that happened here lasted five hours, and that's where the topic of civil rights investigators was introduced. Now, to be clear, they wouldn't determine the girls' punishment, but they would be asked to review the process and also monitor trends toward racism in the school district moving forward. We also learned tonight about some major new backlash that could have a major impact on these students' futures. It's what everyone is waiting to hear from the Tempe Union High School District. Will the punishment fit the crime? That they should be disciplined, whether it's five days, whether it's 10 days, but expulsion, no. Civil rights activist Reverend Jarrett Maupin says part of making it right needs to be admitting the wrong. I am incredibly, incredibly sorry. I have love for everyone in my heart. I am not a racist. Rachel Steigerwald, a.k.a. the letter R, did that Monday. Not everyone accepted her apology. Maupin says that's a mistake. You could ignore their sincerity in the apology and create some young white people with chips on their shoulders about blacks for the rest of their lives. Also a mistake, letting new Twitter posts play into the hate, painting the girls out to be stone-cold racists. Those are fakes. One very real punishment now at play, two of the girls are benched from the school soccer team until further notice, and a college has reached out, questioning if scholarships should be pulled. I didn't agree with any student having their college dream or scholarship prematurely you know, pulled out from underneath them. Whatever the district decides, there's no denying the girls will all face lasting consequences. It's probably going to haunt them for the rest of their lives as long as we have the internet. Also talked about tonight, making this a teaching moment, not just for students, but also their parents, because Maupin says this problem is systemic. Also on the table tonight, looking at the curriculum to make sure that current events involving racism are discussed in the classroom. Back to you.